Helios 4042. It's this vintage lens that's really cheap. It gives you great character, this center focus thing. And today I'm going to be pairing this lens with my $6,000 cinema camera, the Sony FX6. So let's check out the results. So basically I've been picking up these film cameras and one day I was at home, I was wondering, okay, I really want to get a vintage lens and I was in the market to buy an Helios 4042. I was just about to buy this lens, but I saw on one of my film cameras, it actually had the Helios 4042 on it and I didn't really know about it. And I took that one off, I got this um, cheap lens adapter for the lens. The results are cool, definitely has a lot of character as you saw. Has this center focus thing but there are a few things that i noticed about it let's check those out so the first thing that i'm going to do is show you how i graded it i have the raw file right here this is s log just double click on option s to get two more notes i put a color space transformation in the first note and in the input color space i'm going to put in sony s gamma 3 dot cine and input gamma i'm going to put in s log 3 and output color space is just use timeline and my timeline is a rack 709 scene and then i'm going to go back again do another color color space transformation use use timeline for the input but output gamma to cine on film log so now i'm going to put up a lot rack 709 kodak 2383d60 and that gives me this look which is i would say it's better than just the rack 709 one like this shot for example i think it's really great like you can see the center of focus in this lens right here is just focusing on the dark everything else is like really blurred but one thing that i noticed is that you really want to watch out for your highlights because if you're shooting into some light like into the sun or whatever the image gets really washed out and that's like the biggest problem that i had with this lens like this image, for example, looks really great because I'm not shooting directly into some light. But for example, this shot right here, as you can see, it's like really washed. There's like, and if you can see on the in the scope, my shadows are really high up and my midtones and everything. So if we add a just a simple S curve, push the shadows back down, push the midtones as well. It looks much better, as you can see. So this was like the before, and this was after. This is okay. But as you can see in the highlights right here, like it's really bloomy. You can see it also here. These highlights, they're like really blown out. They're blown out easily. And I just didn't figure it out when I was shooting that I need to protect them that much. So that's definitely a thing you want to have in mind to protect your highlights. Like this is just a simple S curve and that gives it a lot more. Now, I definitely think that the Helios 442 is a cool lens, but would I use it for a client? No. I would not. It has no autofocus, so it's not practical at all. And it has far too much character to use, for example, in a corporate video. By the way, if you want to know how to film corporate interviews and videos, I have a video as well on my channel. You can click up here. Would I use it for maybe a documentary or a music video? Yes, I would. I think that suits this lens pretty much. So yes, I would use it in some scenarios, but not with a typical client video so that's it for this video i have more videos on my channel if you want to take a look at them uh but yeah until next time thank you